Hello, this is Solar PVD from World Future Energy Summit 2014. We are together with uh, founder, with Dean founder and owner of uh, Scholz, a very big booth and uh, one of the companies which is famous from the big parties and SPI. And I was quite surprised because uh, a few years ago it was a very small company. Now we see the company is growing, it's becoming global. We see shows everywhere. And it's very difficult to get in touch with the president and with the founder. So I am very happy uh, that uh, you are with us. And I would like to ask you just you know, to give us a quick idea about the company foundation and how uh, did you grow in the industry? Sure. Thank you, Tomas, for having me. So we started out as an automotive supplier in 1996, tier one, tier two automotive. We uh, entered into the solar market around 2003. From there, we've, uh, we were just making cable assemblies. And from there, we uh, partnered up with Multicontact out of Basel, Switzerland to produce uh, assemblies together. From there, we expanded into uh, combiner boxes, into uh, uh, junction boxes, racking. So we're, we're one of the only suppliers around the world that can give you product from the back of the module, which is the junction box, to the power station. We have just introduced power stations as a, uh, a product in 2014, and our first power stations are, are plug and play, and they're uh, being installed in the United States right now, next week. So we have a very diverse product range from, again, junction boxes, connectors, some people only need combiner boxes, some people want everything. And where we're helping the market is we're a one-stop shop for product. So uh, if we see the value chain in the solar business industry, where uh, would you see uh, the shows? In which place? We're, we're basically, our, my philosophy for the company is we'll never make modules and we'll never make inverters, but we'll make everything in between. And uh, what are your key markets? Uh, where is your production base? So typically our market has been global. Uh, we do a lot of business with OEMs, so we are, besides our North American market, China is a very good market for us. We've been working on the Middle East here for quite a while and uh, have gotten some traction. We're, we're working Japan pretty hard and now we're hitting uh, South America and those areas. And uh, if you speak about shows in numbers, in terms of uh, gigawatts, uh, in terms of turnover, uh, what are the numbers? Well, we don't track it all that well, but we're well over 15 gigawatts since we started our company. And in terms of turnover? Turnover, we're, we're a privately held company. Uh, it's just myself as the owner, and we do a few hundred million dollars plus. We, we don't really divulge our financials, but uh, we're enjoying solar quite well. And uh, when it comes to the production sites, where are you based? We have three factories in the United States. We have a couple of joint venture factories in uh, Asia. And we are now in process of building a plant in Saudi Arabia. And do you believe in the MENA market? Yes, very much. It, it's taken a while to start off, but I think the momentum has is, is picked up and it, it's going to happen now. It's been, the last three years have been a bit uh, turmoil for the market to grow, but now I think the uh, momentum's there and it'll be a very great market to be in. So, Dina. Uh, you have the opportunity to work with um, all the most important players in the industry. And since uh, two, three years, we had some kind of uh, slowdown in the industry. And uh, we see that this year, maybe it, uh, the industry will recover. Do you also feel that? Yes, absolutely. There was, too many, there was too much capacity for not enough installed product to go out. So now it's the, the boat is kind of right-sized and uh, module prices have kind of steadied up and uh, projects are now launching again and there's less, there's less suppliers to, uh, to do a better job with, with more installs. There's what? just too many people at one time entering the market. It, it overgrew and, and now it's, uh, again, it's not bad size. Uh, do you think that uh, there is a place for Schultz in the future? Uh, absolutely, we're, we're not going anywhere. We're, as a matter of fact, for us, as we offer these uh, one-stop shops, we're pity, our, our idea is you bring the modules, we'll bring the rest. We won't bring the labor. We will never be an EPC installer, but we'll supply you everything you need. Uh, so um, I spoke with some of your team members. They told me that you are like Steve Jobs for the BOS of solar industry. So I would like to ask you the last question, yeah. as you are always a forward-looking man. If we are now, let's imagine, we are in uh, 2020. 
could you describe the solar industry and could you also present shows in the year 2020? Sure. So right now, I've always said solar fields installations are equivalent in the computer as a 286 processor. So the computer industry went through many growths every six to nine months, and solar's been doing that pretty well. The, the way solar fields are being installed right now won't be the way they're being installed in 2020. They're going to have much more advanced electronics. There'll be less bells and whistles and toys for the electronics, but the, the systems will, will be uh, much more efficient and installed much quicker. And it's going to require, require a lot of really good electronics and not bells and whistles. So forget about today. Imagine we are in 2020. Could you present Scholz, please? Scholz will be doing exactly the same thing it has been. We will never compete against our customer base, but we, we are always trying to revolutionize and uh, bring new products and ideas to the market. And uh, like the computer industry, if you're not always updating your processor speeds, you will soon die. And we feel the same way. As soon as we bring product to the market, it could obsolete in six months and we really don't care. It, it, we want to go to the next step to get the, the price and efficiencies and the productivity of the installs as quickly as possible. And if it requires lots of part numbers that, that come to the market and then ops, obsolete out, we're perfectly fine with that. Perfect example, cell phones. Before a cell phone's ever designed, it's already pro planned for pre-obsolescence. Uh, and um, as we were mentioning at the beginning, Scholz is famous uh, because of the parties that you are organizing at SPI. So this year we'll have SPI in Las Vegas, which is a very interesting city in the US, and I think that there are a lot of people globally looking forward to, to be in Las Vegas. So what will be the event of uh, Scholz in Las Vegas? We, we've already started planning it. it. It'll be a very fun time, uh, be a very large party, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. We. Uh, from a corporate standpoint, we're, uh, we're less corporate in mind and uh, more like friends within the industry and we like to have a good time with our friends who we do business with and you know, we're not going to be the stuffy IBM style company, we're going to be Shoals and some people love it and some people hate it. I can't help if you like it or not, we're just having a good time and uh, we are who we are. Okay, thank you very much and Solar PV TV. Of course, we will join this, uh, this party and I suppose that also we will join Scholz booths, uh, Scholz events all over the world during the year. Thank you very much, Dean. You're welcome. That was Solar PV TV from World Future and Summit 2014 from Abu Dhabi.